testing, one, two, check. Check, one, two, check, check, testing. Testing. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father of the King of all Israel. I'm going to say the Lord, right? Just say it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That kingdom come, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debtors. We as we forgive our debtor and lead us not into temptation deliver us from evil die to the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen, amen. it's in my mind it's in my mind you know
Christ, you run to Holy Father, King of all Israel, <clears throat> the call, um, Sister Kada, uh, daughter Kada, daughter Kada Duncan, to do the Israel prayer. Our Father, I rise to give honor to Holy Father, King of all Israel, to do the Israel prayer. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let the words of our mouth be a meditation of our hearts be acceptable in our sight. Holy Father, we now that thou that made us and love us and want us to be obedient, obedient unto thy word, and we do thank thee for thy adoring love towards us. Help us to be peaceful in thy mind and heart and lead us into thy truth and light which shall fulfill our lives each day according to thy will. Holy Father, we do not acknowledge thee, and know if we shall keep thy commandments, thou will direct our pathways in righteousness. Help us to be grateful for thy loving guidance, which is without cost, yet rich with love, joy, and peace, which cannot be brought or sold or taken away. And to these jewels of joys, Holy Father, please add a little prosperity, which we have need of. Help us to be reach a oneness with thee so we can truly renew our strength to live and not be sick but shall walk walk in perfect health with thee and now dear father charge us with the power of love so we may be able to live internally and help us be able to be worthy of thee these are the blessings that are simply i need of we ask these blessings in the name of the lord god of israel amen amen and amen This one. 
Put your hands together. And there are some places. There y'all go. There you go. Come on. For this one thing. Today, y'all, come on, put your hands together. For he has washed. Oh, yes, he has. My God is real. God is real. He's real to me. Oh, yes, he is. Hey, and there are some things. Oh, yes, it is. Do not, but this one thing, oh, yes, it is. God is real, yeah. Come on, church. His love for me, oh, yes, it is. For he has won. Believe it is well, my God is real. God is real, yeah. Real to me. Oh, yes, he is. Hey, can we talk about the God of Israel? Oh, let's talk about the God of Israel. Oh, let's talk about the God of Israel. Talk about the God of Israel. Can we talk about the God of love? Let's talk about the God of Israel. Let's talk about the God of Israel. Let's talk about the God of Israel. Hey, and there are some things. And there are some places. Let's talk about the God of Israel. 
Let's talk about the God of Israel. Can we talk about the God of love? Can we talk about the God of love? Can we talk about the God of love? Can we talk about the God of Israel? Hey, and there are some things. There are some places, no, 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 but this one thing, you got to believe the word of this, brother. God is real, yeah. His love for me. For the opening ceremony, we will have Junior Deacon Stefano Sant. What's his last name? Santos. All right, Your Honor, Holy Father, King of all Israel, ask all persons to stand. Place the right hands over their hearts. And the mind only on the God of Israel is the open ceremony being conducted. <clears throat> Genesis 35th chapter, 9 through the 11th verses. And God appeared to Jacob again when he came out of Padamaram and blessed him. And God said unto him, My name is Jacob, then it shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even my firstborn. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel's of God. But now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and that and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou hast passed it through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt. Neither, uh, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I give Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for their life, for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. 
bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even everyone that is called be my called that is called by my name. For I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yeah, I have made him members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter, twenty through the twenty eighth verses, and the six wherein wherein thou shalt thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes. I say unto them, Thus said the Lord, God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And one king shall be, shall be king to them all. They shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they, shall they be my people, and I will be their God. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And David, my servant, shall be over them, and shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd, and they shall all also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their king, shall be their prince forever. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel's of God. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel to God. Isaiah the 45th chapter, 16 to 17 verses. Acts the 13th chapter, 22nd and 23rd verses. Romans the 11th chapter, 26th verse. Galatians the 6th chapter, 15 to 16 verses. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go, they shall go to a confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not... You shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end, members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And, we had, and when he had removed them, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom he also gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath God according to his promise, and raised unto Raised unto Israel a Savior Jesus. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. They shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as according well, as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy and upon the Israel God. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. Let us all keep our minds on the King of all Israel and repeat it after me as we go through the prayer. Lord God of Israel, Lord God of Israel, there is no God, there is no God like unto thee, like unto thee. And thy name is great, thy name is great, and shall, and shall, and must be honored, and must be honored by all the true Israels of God. All the true Israels of God. Help us, Help us to so die, to so die from, this world from this world and ourselves, and ourselves that, thy kingdom that thy kingdom can freely come to us. Freely come to us. Help us, Help us so be dead, to so 
we did to the world, to the world and, ourselves, and ourselves, that we might be freely willing, that we might be freely willing for thy will to be done, for thy will to be done both, in our bodies, both in our bodies and spirit. And spirit. Help, us, Help us so love thee, so love thee that our only be thy will to deliver us, thy will to deliver us from all that thou hatest, from all that thou hatest and lead us only, and lead us only into that that thou lovest. Into that that thou lovest. Give us and teach us, Give us, and teach us thy will and way. Thy will and way each day, each day, as we are able to receive, as we are able to receive it. All the kings are thine. All the kings are thine. And if we love thee, and if we love thee, thou freely give, thou freely give, and bless us, and bless us with and in them, with and in them. All powers in thy hand. All powers in thy hand. And if we love thee, and if we love thee, thou freely give, thou freely give, thy power to us, thy power to us. Help us, help us, so love thee, so love thee, that we can be, that we can be, the true is as a God, the true is as a God, for thou hast placed salvation in Zion, salvation in Zion. for his of thy glory, for his of thy glory, these and other blessings, these and other blessings, we ask the name of the Father, we ask the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost, amen, 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 amen. Good morning, everybody. We happy to see everybody in the house tonight. And we ask the Lord God of Israel to dwell among us. And we don't want him to just dwell among us. We want him to stay here. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome. Stay right here. 
Next, we will have a, a scripture, scripture reading done by G daughter Gabby Santo. Amen. I ask to give honor to the Holy Father from the Father's Earth. Say my name is daughter. Gabriel Santos, Insular Blessing, which is found in St. John, the first, the first chapter, first to the fifth verses. The subject is the fifth verse. And the theme is from darkness to light. And it reads as follows. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word, yeah. um, the same was in the beginning with the God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended, comprehended not. And the subject is the shiv verse. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended, comprehended it, and it not. May the God of Israel add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Have a selection by the fire.
two daughters a round of applause for running a beautiful service this morning. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. Say good morning, Israel. Good morning. We got a hype service this morning. I'm glad to be here to render you another Second Sunday Youth Program. Let's give it a hand. And at this time, we are going to open up our YOP program by singing our YOP song. Open the doors for the children, gather them into the Army. And at this time, we're going to call forth our younger youth to come up 
Tell us what temple you're from. Tell us who your pastor is, because we are getting ready for our General Assembly. So come on up. Uh, let us know where you're from. Give us your name, who your pastor is, and let us know how you enjoyed the workshop yesterday. And give us your scripture. And let us know. Today is Mother's Day. Let us know something that you love about your mom. Let's give our younger children a round of applause. To speak about being honest. Well, why is it important to tell the truth? Um, like when you do something on purpose, don't say it's an accident. Just say. I did it on purpose. Um, if you if you tell the truth, people can believe you. And I'm going to talk about Mother's Day. Um, my mom makes me feel special when she um, plays with me. What are you doing for the To get my To what? To the king of all Israel. To the To what? To the Lord God. To the Lord God. the truth because if like something's wrong with something and you don't do it but somebody thought you did it could you could you could uh die because because uh some, it could it could save your life Because uh, when when she uh, like so uh, cuddle with me, I I love her. Be nice to me. 
She takes care of me and gives me some food. Because we won't die. All right. All right. Period. Thank you. So, a Mother's Day is a special day where you where you give your mother presents and you give her a Mother's Day cards and. Um, and and when she um takes good care of you, that's called that's called being thankful to your mom. It's good to tell the truth because if if you if you had a friend and she and she dropped the glass and she blames it on you and she told the, and she told the teacher, but you but but you told the teacher that it wasn't me and it was her, but if she tells it on you, it wouldn't be her fault. It would just, it would be, it wouldn't be her fault. It would be your fault if, if you drop the glass. So that's where you got to be honest and tell the truth. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. I come from the Compton tem Temple in California. My pastor is El it, my pastor is Bishop Elder Alvin Mears Jr. It's good to tell the truth because you're already gonna get in trouble because you did something wrong. So you might as well just tell the truth because you're just gonna get in more trouble if you lie. And I love my mom because she's always there for me. She's like my number one BFF. And she's, and she's always there to take care of me when I need her. to give honor to the Holy Father, to the King of all Israel. I'm in, my, my name is D Junior Deacon Jimmy Wilson III. I'm from the Ypsilanti Temple, and my pastor is Bishop Harry Beavers Jr., and my assistant pastor is Elder Kyle Chapman. It's important to tell the truth because if, if you don't tell the truth, you could probably... Um, get in trouble, but if you do go the, do the tell the truth, you could just get an award from your parents. Amen. Wonderful. Let's give our younger youth a round of applause. They are growing over here in the House of Israel. We are proud of them because they are getting up the courage now to say how important it is to be honest and what they love about their mother. At this time, we are going to call forth our elementary, middle school children to come forth. Give us your name, what temple you're from, who your pastor is. We're going to have you come all the way in the front because you are on Zoom. 
We are going to have you speak on why it's important to be. We'll have our high school children go last. All of our middle school and elementary children, please come forth quickly. You're going to come all the way over here, honey, all the way down. We're going to rise. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to say my, my name is Sister Lilia Duncan. I am from the Sumter temp Temple. My pastor is uh, is is other. Joseph Jordan, my sister pastors are Elder Gothel Johnson and Elder James Singleton. And I want to speak on the YOP theme that is to be honest. And what I get out of that is that is that if you have to be honest, you have you gotta make sure that you're trustworthy too, because if you're not trustworthy, they won't believe you if you're telling the truth. If you lie all the time and you're not trustworthy, they're gonna think once you want once you're telling the truth and you're being honest, they're not going to believe you. Amen. My name is Sister Taylor. Scripture is um, Psalms 25, 22, Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Amen. I'm thankful for my mother because she takes care of me and helps me with things when I need it the most. Uh, my name is Jerry Deacon Kenneth Page. I'm from the MCOA Temple. I'm pastor Bishop Barry Jr. and my sister pastor Elder Connor Chapman. And uh, why you gotta be truthful is because if you're not, if you just keep on telling stories, you're gonna have to keep telling stories to back up the other uh, story that you told. Uh, so, and you'll be in more trouble. Uh, and I love my mom because uh, she cooks for me. And if you know me, you know that I like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah. My name is daughter Gabrielle Santos. I'm from the Insulin and Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Peebles Jr. And my sister pastor is Elder Carl Chapman. And you should be honest because if you're not, absolutely no one will believe you. I know everybody has told the, told, heard the story of the boy who cried wolf every time he told a lie that the wolf was coming and the people believed him and they came to check and the wolf actually wasn't there but when he was finally telling the truth nobody actually believed him we should give him that story that it's never okay to lie you should always tell the truth um, i love my mother because she is a hero to me she makes me feel comfortable in my own skin where i can, I can talk to her with no problems and I love her very much. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Um, to me is, oh, my pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers. My sis, oh, my name is daughter in, in training, Arise Beavers. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers. My sister pastor is Ella Carla Chapman. And to me, to never like lie, what was it again? Oh, um, to, to be honest, because it's because so you don't supposed to lie for no like no reason. You, you have to. It's like the 
if you want to lie, you have, it should be a good reason to lie. And not, and not just for no reason. Um, just not for no reason. Not just just because if you get in trouble and you just She puts, she she has my back every time, and when, she, yeah, that's it. Amen. 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 My name, my name is daughter and turning India Walker. I'm from the Islamic Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr. My sister pastor is Elder Carla Chapman. Um, it's important to be honest because like there's no point of lying you just like to tell the truth uh and like there's really no point you shouldn't do it at all um Amen. i love my mom because no matter what happens no matter what we're going through she would do anything for us me and my siblings she would put food on our table um uh, make sure we have a roof over our head and <laughs> She would just always make sure we have what we need. Sometimes it's not what we want, but it's what we need. Um, yeah. My name is Sister Kata Duncan, my pastor. I'm from the Sumter Temple, and my pastor is Elder Joseph Jordan. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Sister Kata Duncan, Amen. and my pa- I'm from the I'm from the Sim- Temple and my pastor and my pastor is Elder Joseph Jordan. And my assistant pastors are Elder Gabriel Johnson, and Elder James Singleton. And to speak on the YOP theme about to be honest, um, like go with the theme. I think you should just be honest, like every day, every like just like every day, because telling a lie and you keep like building up on that lie, then you're just going to get in trouble even more. At, like at this point. Just telling a lie, just, it's bad, like, because some, like, for me, I tell lies, like, for me, I tell lies sometimes, but, yeah, I get in trouble, but I don't be, like, building up on the lie, because when I lie, then sometimes, after I lie, I be telling the truth, so I don't get, like, get in trouble more, so, yeah. She's a great woman. Amen. And All right. She loves everybody. Like she, like she takes care of everyone, even her husband and my siblings. And like she put a house over our roof. She put food on our table. She's like, even though she doesn't like me that much, some, 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 <laughs> sometimes. Cause I be getting on her nerves, but it's okay. But at least, but at least she still love me. She like take me go like shopping, go get like more shoes and stuff. And that's why I love my mom. And amen. All right. All right. So you want to the Holy Father, King of all the my name is Jerry Dika Quentin Page, and I'm from the Ypsilanti Temple. My pastor is Bishop Robert Jr. And my sister pastor is Elder Carla Chapman. And uh, uh. It's important to be honest because you don't want to get in trouble like more in and you like if you if you tell a lie then you're gonna have to build up on that lie and and it's important to be honest because you need to be in God's work and not the devil's work and 
I love my mom because she put clothes on my back and she feed me every day and she buy groceries and and she put a roof over my head. And amen. I rise to the holy God of this room. <laughs> this room. My name is David Daniels. Um, Pastor. A pastor, and there's, and there, you should always tell the truth because when you tell the truth, you get less in trouble, and people right. might um, trust you more. Than right. 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 And I love my mom because she always helps me when I'm um, stuck on my homework, and um. She put a roof on my head, and then she always makes sure that I um, have food. And um, my name is Jean Deacon Jordan. My pastor is Elder Joseph Jordan, and my sister pastor is Elder Gothel Johnson and, Reverend, and Elder James Singleton to speak on on why you tell the truth. Well, if you lie, you're going you to feel guilty about it. And trust me, my mom knows when I'm feeling guilty. And, <laughs> and she's going to be looking at all the information. And something happened at school, she's going to pull up to our school, talk to everybody. And so she's she going she gonna to know when I'm lying or not. So, amen. So, also, um, to, so I walk with my mom, and she always has my best interest at heart. And she know, and she know what I need, what I don't need, what I, and that's why I love her. I already skip on it so fucking much, bro. Saying my name is Jun Deacon Aaron Conaghan. I'm from the Ypsilanti Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey of Jr. My pastor is Alcar Chapman. Speak on why you should tell the truth. You should always tell the truth because if you don't, it's going to affect you and the people around you, and you don't want that to right. happen. And if you think and if you think that lying is going to get you in, if you think that lying is going to help you get out of bad situations, you're wrong. It's gonna it's gonna eventually keep up to you to the point where it's gonna get you into a bad situation. Right. And you should always tell the truth because people are gonna believe you, and you want them to actually be honest with you so you can talk to them more. And also, one thing I'm grateful for my mom is that she helped me put clothes on my back, put food on my stomach, keep a roof over our head, and that's all. By the King of all Israel. Um, my name is Jim Deacon Jackson. I'm from the Epsilonia Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr. My assistant pastor is Elder Carla Chapman. I want to speak on the and the YOP thing. Um, darkness to light. Um, last week, there was a threat to my, my school and the high school next to me. Um, he said that he was going to shoot up the schools, and the next day, um, we had a shelter in place um, lockdown, so all of the schools in the district were closed. Um, and before he could even do anything, the police already had him in custody. So he thought before he posted anything on social media, he thought he was in the darkness. But really, everybody could see what he was doing. Um, and to speak on the YLP thing, um, why is it good to be honest? I think. Since we're children of the God of Israel, no matter what we do, somebody's going to figure it out because we're children of the God of Israel, and the God of Israel wants us to learn to be honest and say the right thing. Um, I love my mom because she is just a good person, and she gives things without wanting things in return. Amen. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father. King of all Israel. And why should tell the truth is when you do something bad and you tell your mom that you didn't do it, she you gotta get in trouble and then
tell my mom because um, she puts food on the table for me and my brother, and we, and then she gives us clothes. She buys us clothes, shoes, and she's a great mom, and I love her. And she's beautiful and and caring. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of Israel. I love my mom because she always do stuff for us and always buy stuff for us. And I love her because she's the best mom that I ever had. Uh, my name is Junior Deacon uh, Andrew. My t temple is the Ypsilanti temple, temple, and I believe that you shouldn't lie because it has a decline on your. Uh, it's proven to have a mental decline on your, on your uh, mental health. And as my dad said, right. if you lie, you're, uh, you're going to get caught. There, you're, right. and there's no way to try to hide it. And I love my mom very much because she helps me whenever I do need help. She leads me to, to my life, and she, overall, she's just a good person to be around. Amen. 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 I love my mom for bad food. The bad thing they always cook bad food for me. A bad brother. And they always be nice to them. Because they're, they're my family. And it always be nice to my friends week because that's how I make friends. Amen. Okay, let's give our middle schoolers and our elementary children a hand. I did not know we had this many children in here this morning. They are definitely thankful for their mothers. They, uh, they know how to be honest. And they are up here telling the truth this morning. <laughs> Last we got a couple of high schoolers, a couple of children who are graduating from high school. They are going to keep it very short. They are going to tell us why it's important to be honest and why they love their mother. Let's give our high schoolers a round of applause as they come forth very quickly. Amen. Uh. I rise to give my to the Father King of Israel to say, um, my, my name is Daughter Charlene Page. I'm from the Islandi Temple. My pastor. My pastor is Mr. Park Davis, Jr., my assistant pastor, Father Chadwick. Um, to speak on why you shouldn't lie. So, first, why you shouldn't lie is this. She always knows, so she'll like she'll like ask me questions then and there, and then like maybe like a day or two later she'll ask it again and see if I say the same answer. <laughs> and honestly, honestly, I never, I probably never say the same answer. And um, but it's because I don't remember. And if you lie so much, like people, that's what people will start knowing you for. And I got a friend like when he says certain stuff, me and my friends just be like. Come on now, that did not happen. But we don't hold it against him because we know that, you know, it's just something that he has to work on. And um, I love my mom because um, my mom, she always makes whatever whatever I want and any, she always makes it happen. Even when sometimes I don't, um, I don't need it particularly, she always makes it happen for me. And yeah. I rise to go out to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Um, Sister Miley Stanford, and why it's not good to lie, oh, and I'm from the Stanford Temple. Um, why it's not good to lie is because when you lie, it's like you get, sometimes you can get caught up in your lies when you have so many lies. And it's not good to keep digging a hole for yourself because if you keep lying and keep lying and keep lying, you're just gonna keep making it your hole bigger. And then somebody gonna try to ask you a question on your lie and then you gonna get caught up in everything. So that's why it's not good to lie. And I love my mom because 
she's smart, she's beautiful, she's courageous. She's never, she's never been one of those people that accept lies either. She does not like liars, and that's what I love about my mom. I'm actually about to wait King of Israel. Uh, my name is J.D. Kamali Davis. I'm from Ypsilanti Temple. And um, why well, it's not good to lie is because, for one, what happens in the dark always comes to light. Everyone knows that. Um, another thing is um, people, when people, you build a reputation for yourself when you lie. So if you keep lying you know, over and over again, it's going to get around that you're a liar. So whenever you say things, people are not going to be able to believe it. And I love my mom because. Um, she always guides me in the right path, and she gets me things even when I don't deserve it. Um, even though she yells at me sometimes, um, she just guided me in the right path. And, and, and. Amen. Amen. I'd like to get to the Holy Father King of the World. My name is Judy and Jeremiah Adams. I go to Atlanta Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harimi Jr. and my sense pastor is Eric Carl Chapman. Um, why it's not good to lie is because a lie is a consequence. Because if you lie, you won't get nothing that you deserve. Well, I love, I, I love my mom because she keep me in schools to get a good education. She keep me in the right direction because, you know, I, I, I may not never know what happened in the future. Um, she told me to clean my room, to clean the dishes, take out the trash. That's what you're supposed to do. No woman is supposed to take out the trash, do this just, or, or do your room. You supposed to do your own stuff, not your mom. Amen. All right, so good morning to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. My name is Dr. Trinity Santos. I'm from the Ypsilane Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr. And my sister pastor is Edekal Chapman. And to say why you don't lie, you don't lie because it's, it's hard work to keep up a lie. And you might as well just put all that stuff, all that hard work, all that stuff in your schoolwork or your job to benefit yourself instead of just lying all the time. And I love my mom because she is very, very funny and, and beautiful. And I love to hang out with her and listen to her snore. And, um, <laughs> And, uh, uh, yes, just, just watch her while she sleeps. And, amen. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Say, I'm Junior Reverend Junior Deacon Tamari Zarbi Jr. I'm from the Bishlany Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvard Beavers Jr. My assistant pastor is Elder Chapman. Um, I'm not going to incriminate myself and tell you all the lies I've been told. But I will say, you know, that... Uh, not lying is definitely a, a, a good thing to do just because it, it says a lot about your character and a lot about who you are. Um, you know, Bishop Cox, he talked about having that spiritual bank account. And every time you tell a lie, you get yourself a withdrawal slip and you take away from that spiritual bank account. Uh, so just right, keeping in mind that tell the truth, telling the truth, I mean, it's everything. Um, I love my mom. Because I'm, I'm her firstborn child, so I'm the first everything. First prom, homecoming, graduation. And she know I'm not no easy person to please. And uh, she, she still makes it happen. Uh, it's just that, you know, I love my mom and her love is unconditional. Uh, no matter what we go through, no matter what happens in life, you know, she's always there for me when she's mad at me and when she ain't mad at me. And that's what I love her for. Give honor to the Holy Father, King of all as well. My name is Junior Dicky Stefano Santos from the Ypsilanti Temple. Um, it's it's bad to tell a lie because it proves like just that your character isn't that strong, right? Right, right. When you, when you, like be, having a strong sense of character is like telling the truth. It makes it means that you're strong enough to own up to what you've done wrong. Go ahead on and help and, us, man. Uh, the reason why I love my mama is because it's like the older and older I get, the more I realize just how much she's willing to sacrifice for me. And, and, and basically, I, I just want to go throughout the rest of my life living off of her example 
So like, if and when I become a parent, I'm gonna always look at her as like, yeah, that's the type of parent I want to be. My name is Javon Porter. I'm from the Ypsilanti Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr. My assistant pastor is Elder Carla Chapman. And um, just to say, it's never good to lie. I think that your word is your bond, and when you lie, you break that bond. Um, just to say, I love my mother. She always takes care of me. She gives me not only what I need, but a lot of what I want, too. So I'm, I am thankful for her. And, uh, Everybody that's taking care of me, my grandmother, other people in the church, I mean everybody who's taking care of me. So, uh, amen. I rise the of honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. So my name is Daughter Amari Freeman, and I'm from the Ypsilanti Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beaver Jr., and my assistant pastor is Elder Carla Chapman. And it's not good to lie because your word is who you are as a person. And if you lie, you become a dishonest person and people won't trust you and right. close a lot of doors instead of opening up, open them up for you. Yes. Um, I love my mom because she's honestly my best friend. I talk to her about any and everything because I feel like she will listen and give me feedback in the way that I need. Um, thank you. I'm Lassie Vaughn, 25 King of Israel, saying my name is the daughter Lauren Calhoun. I'm from the Sumter Temple. And to speak on why it's important to tell the truth, I feel like it's important to tell the truth because if you don't, you lose your credibility. And like the story about the boy who cried wolf, he kept lying and saying that there's a wolf in the town, there's a wolf killing his sheep. And when they came, they kept coming and the wolf wasn't there. And when the wolf actually was there killing his sheep, nobody came to help him. And also, I told a lie one time to my mama, she tore me up. And it, at that point, I was like, what's the point of lying to my mom when, when I need her the most, she won't be there because she's so used to me telling her lies. So I wanted her to have my back when I needed her to have my back, so I started telling her the truth. And touching on my mom, the subject of her, I love her because she's always there for people even when she may not feel like it or even when right. she may not get nothing in return, she's still there and I love her for that because it shows me to be there for people and I love her, amen. Let's give our high school students a great big round of applause. We hope you have enjoyed our YLP program. We have so many children here so many lessons that they have learned. They, some of our children are getting ready to go out in the world and be on their own, and we want to know that they have the tools here to succeed uh, in their journey. At this time, we are going to recognize our supreme YOP president the world over. Uh, let her have uh, some words to, to bring to us. Let's give a cheer to Bride Mother Pamela Lathan. Let's give her another hand. I truly rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of Israel, to say that I am truly blessed to be in your service this morning. I am truly blessed to see all of the youth here at the Ypsilanti Temple, the Sumter Temple, just together. You guys are awesome. I love you so much, and you made my heart just fill with joy to be in your service this morning, to hear you speak and get up and talk about the themes that we put together for you guys. I so thank Sister Belle, and I so thank Sister Rhonda for carrying on here at the Ypsilanti Temple with the YLP program. I thank all of the parents, all of those that support the YLP program because it's so it's so vital to our organization. 
we have to make sure that our children are taught at this at an early age and you guys are blessing them and teaching them how to serve the God of Israel putting it in them bringing them to church because that's what my mother did for me that's I love my mother because she brought me to church until I was able to bring myself to church I thank her for putting the God of Israel in me because I can I'm the, the, the lady that I am today because of her and I thank her for teaching me honesty and integrity because that's so, so important. This theme is so important because you, you show people that you're trustworthy when you show these type of characteristics. People trust what you say. People believe in you. People want to support you. And then, you know, if they see that you're trying to do what's right, it's such a blessing. And you guys just don't know how blessed you are of what's ahead of you if you continue to love and serve the God of Israel. So I continue to say, you know, I am just so overwhelmed today. And I'm, I'm thankful for, um, again, all of you for carrying on YLP here at the Ypsilanti Temple. I'm here in any way to support you in any way I can um, to help you to, to continue on with our program. We have great things in store for our youth and we have our youth ball coming up for the General Assembly, and it's the first time that we're bringing back the youth ball at their demand because they wanted to something to do. So we're supporting them, we're putting money into them and so that they can have a grand time and we're gonna have a good time on the 24th of June and in the doing the General Assembly. So again, I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be in your service, continue loving and serving the God of Israel because loving and serving the God of Israel pays off. I love you all. And at this time, this concludes our YLP program. I hope everybody had a marvelous time. And children, keep growing. We love you. Parents, keep supporting. Vineyards, keep doing for our children because they are awesome. And they are showing off their awesome skills. Let's give our YLP program a, a round of applause. And at this time, we're going to turn the services back over to Daughter of Rise. Let's give her a hand. Turning the service over to Junior Deacon Jemiah Adams. To ask Deacon to go to the door, Mr. Cody Arthur, or have Mother Camille Wilson be such a mother. Please, be such a mother. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, to be the youth instructor for today. I wasn't expecting this today, so just bear with me for a moment. Um, to say to the youth, the youth instructor was um, brought for us many years ago to instruct you on morals, education, and spirituality. So, I'll try to make this quick, because you know I can get long-winded. Um, morally, you all just spoke about speaking the truth. That is a part of your morals. Basically, doing things that you know are the right things to do, no matter what. And so I want to encourage you today, not tell you, but encourage you to do the right thing no matter what. You are in a time where your friends do something and they, they seem to have a little more persuasion on you individually. And so let us, youth, not let our friends persuade us to do things. Let's not let our friends encourage us to do things that are not going to be good for us. Spiritually. You come here every Sunday or your week services for your YOP, your choir rehearsals, all the things that you do in the Spiritual Israel Church and its army are going to help you with your spiritual journey in the God of Israel. Understand, children, you can talk to the God of Israel. You can ask the God of Israel for what you want and what you need. You can pray to the God of Israel 
You can pray for your parents. When things are not going well with you in school, take the God of Israel with you. We have this pledge in prayer. You say it every day. Nobody has to even hear you. On your way, say the pledge and the prayer to kind of get you going. I told my son about a situation when I was in high school. I was at high school. We played softball against a team in Flint. And one of our members was on the other team, and we had a, a tornado warning. And we had to go into the school and go in the basement, and everybody's scared because the tornado hit. Me and my Israel sister came together. I'm in, I'm what, 11th grade in high school. Came together. We prayed, we said our pledge, our prayer, and things worked out for us. But that's because children, you have to have the God of Israel for yourself. Right. Educationally, academic education, spiritual education, life education, all of it is very important. But your academic education is what's going to help you financially make it in life. So take your education for yourself, children. Get your education for you. Get those A's and B's because you want them A's and B's. Um, because when you get older, you can't go back and do high school. You can't go back and do elementary school. Pay attention to your teachers. Do your work. Do what you're supposed to do in school. And remember that drugs is not for you. So stay away from drugs. It alters your mind. And we want you to have your mind completely clear when you are out in this world making decisions. Find someone that you can trust so that they can help you morally, spiritually, and educationally make it and be successful when you all get older. And I hope you gain the thought. Amen. I want to give on to Holy Father, King of the World. I'm going to have my mother, Katie, first to be your torture mother. Father, the King of Israel, be your instructor, Mother, for this afternoon to say that if there are any visitors in the church, you are welcome. I rise again and give honor to those fathers, the King of Israel, to be your instruction, Mother, for this afternoon to say if there are any visitors in the church, you are welcome to the spiritual church in this army. You're welcome to our words. Uh, you're welcome to our natural food. Uh, I hope that you get something to take you through the whole through the week to help you out. And I'm asking the families, bring your mind in so that you can gain a word across the right. pulpit, uh, maybe a song. Yeah. Um, take uh, whatever you hear and take it uh, with you for the whole week. And also let us pray for our sick and our shut in. And uh, another thing I'd like to say, talk to people, your fellow sisters and brothers, the way you want them to talk Amen. to you. Amen. And ask you to go with Amen. me in a word of prayer by saying, Our Father, Our Father, which art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, that will be done, that will be done, in earth, in earth, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts, as we forgive our debts, and lead us not, lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from evil, from evil. But Thine is the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever, forever. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to turn to the guitar to Deacon Jimmy Wilson. <laughs> I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of Israel. So I'm glad to be with my brothers and sisters again, another Sunday morning service. So thankful for everybody that's come out. Uh, really enjoyed that Wild Pete program. Let's give the youth another hand. <clears throat> Thank you for my junior deacon running the service for me. We're not gonna prolong the time. Um, we, I believe that uh, we will have a few more people coming by. Uh, I think Sumter's uh, the Sumter members who are not here who had service, they uh, have finished up and they'll be heading over. So if you see some little spaces, uh, I see some single seats in here, you can just squeeze in. So that way when we have a few more, about eight or nine members come, 
uh, they'll have somewhere to sit as well. Um, and then finally, before I turn it over to the minister in charge, uh, you know, over here at Ypsilanti, we believe in uh, making sure everybody eats at no cost. However, like my pastor always says, we know that this food is not free, technically. So when, uh, later on during the uh, tithes and offering portion, make sure you put something in that pan um, to help us out with that cost. But I'm not going to prolong the time. All right, so we're gonna have a musical program. I know we got a, a dynamic youth choir over here, and we got some dynamic singers around here too. So I'm not gonna pull on the time. I'm gonna turn uh, this service over to uh, Brother Harvey Beavers to run a musical program. How, how long is it? How long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minute musical. I rise right to the Holy Father, to the King of all that to say, good afternoon, church. Ah, uh, come on, come on, Israel. I said, good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Let's give God some praise. Come on, put your hands together. You came here to have a good time, didn't you? You got some that come from way far, and they came to serve the God of Israel today. So first up, we're going to go back to this wonderful youth choir. And then I'm going to come back to you, okay? Let's give this required a round of applause.
Is that all right? Is that all right? Is that all right? We want the God of Israel to work on us. I see, uh, see one of my spiritual uncles that's came in. I'm going to give him a minute to get his stuff together. But uh, right now, let's go to our own bride mother, Althea Stanford. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on, mama. to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Say, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Because yeah. I'm at home. Y'all yeah. made me feel good this morning. Because in case you don't know, this is five generations. Five. You are five. From Bishop George Coachman, who was our father. Our grandfather, our great-grandfather, and this make me feel good. I see you. I see you. It make you feel good just to see yeah. your babies, your yeah. babies, yeah. your babies. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a blessing just to be here. Right. And I'm not going to prolong the time. I just want to sing a few verses of something that's been carrying me through. And I believe it's going to carry you through. Because whatever you go through, our life is in God's hands. All of our lives are in his hands. And if he don't take care of us, nobody can. Go ahead on. I'm yes. extremely thankful this morning to have my son in the house. Yes. My son and my granddaughter. My granddaughter, I see her right there. I'm thankful to have him this morning. Um, I'm going to ask you all to help me sing. Yeah. Me in your care. I know, I know, brother. <laughs> Love it. <coughs> Can I stand up in here? I know you're waiting for Rock. She coming. Yes, she sir. coming. Praise him this morning. He's worthy. No hands. I'm better with no hands. <clears throat> oh, oh, Lord, Lord, I'm in your care. Said I'm in your, in your care today. Said I 
I'm in your, in your care. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah. I know that I'm in your care. Yes, I have. selection and now this this here this here is my request I'm gonna put my request in right now we're gonna go all the way back to a little church on Tuttle Hill Road we like Tuttle Hill but it, this this next election should feel real good to you come on up come on up our elder Joseph Lathan, our own Elder James Lathan, and our own Elder Kenneth Page Jr. Truly, 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 we rise. I rise to give honor. Holy Father, King of all Israel. What a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Just glad to be in the house of the Lord God of Israel. Back home, one of our churches. Ask that um, my family help me sing a little bit of Hold On. Yeah, yeah. Get on out the way, because we still got a lot of fabulous preaching to come up and speak. Amen? But I'm glad to be here and thank all of you for 
just the love that you continue to show. Amen. All right, musicians, y'all pick this up. I know name and know. Well, hold on. Hold on. Well, joy come. Joy come. In the morning. All you gotta do is hold on. Go down one note. Well, hold on. Hold on. It'll be all right. Well, joy come. Joy come in the morning. All you got to do is hold on. Hold on. It's right. It will. It will be. There we go. All right. Sing is only but goody. When he calls my name. When he calls my name. My name. I will answer. Here we go. 
Africa. Here we go. Here we go. Will you be ready? Thank all Elder Joseph Lathan and all Elder James Lathan for those wonderful selections. And now, we're going to go to my spiritual uncle. This here is a man who, me and him, we feed off each other during services. I look over to him, and I know he is not ashamed to pray with the great and almighty God of Israel anywhere he go. Let's give a round of applause for our own Elder James Singleton. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I'm enjoying myself, excuse me. I'm enjoying myself. I'm asking the choir to help me sing Try Israel. Please. Try Israel, Lord. Try
enjoy that? Do we enjoy that? Instructions. We, we we coming to the close, but we got we got a little bit more time. We gonna go to a gentle soul, a meek soul, and she don't like to get up here too much. But uh, we've been working on each other and we've been pushing each other to our limits when it comes to our worship. Amen. So I'm gonna ask y'all to put y'all hands together for my sister, our own sister Rashida Davis. to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Like he said, no, I don't like to get up here. I like to sit back and enjoy. Come on, right. Come on, right. <laughs> Has it not been a wonderful service today? Oh, the God of Israel is in the house. Oh, yes, he is. I wasn't prepared. 
<laughs> so I actually got a vision to prepare me. I dedicate this song to anybody that's going through anything. Anybody who's ever been through anything. And anybody that knows the power of the God of Israel.
been through anything. Tell your problem this. He's still in. He's still in. He's still in. God is. God is still in charge. No matter what you try to do to me, no matter what you try to say to me, I believe in the Father. He's still in. No matter the situation. No matter the problem. I believe we got some su survivors in the house. Y'all yeah. can say these words. I made it. I made it. Has anybody been through anything and made it? Yes, I made it. I'm still here. I'm still here. You can tell the devil, oh, you tried it. Oh, you tried him. But I serve God. I made it. No matter, no matter the problem. Yes, I made He saw me through it all. I'm still here. I'm still here. When the devil did me, me no good. God turned it around. He made it for my good. I made it, I made it, I made it. The blood still running warm in my veins. Everything that the devil meant for no good, God turn it around. He turn it around. He turn it around. He turn it around. I made it, and I'm still here. got your portion. I pray that you got your portion. And this comes, this brings this part of the service to a close, but I got to sing a verse or two of my song to my mama. Because I love my mama. She's the strongest woman I know in the world. We all know the song. Let's sing a verse or two of it. Oh, hello, mama. Said I made it. Oh yeah, hello mother. I'm glad I made it. Yes I am. And sometimes I come on, church, put your hands together. Tear your drops. Said I made it over. And I'm alright now. Oh hello mother. Said I made it. Hey, yeah. Hello, mother. I'm glad I made it. Yes, I am. And sometimes I he wiped the teardrops. Said I made it over. Said I made it over. Said I made it over. Mama, I'm all right now, Mama. That's it, y'all. That's all. I got to say my song to my mama. That's all I'm going to do. We're going to turn this part of the service back over to the chairman of this wonderful temple on Deacon Jimmy Wilson. We're so thankful for uh, Brother Harvey running that musical program. I know y'all enjoyed that. Made it over. 
God is still in charge. Amen. How do we know that? Because I done tried him. He's all right. Amen. Amen. Let's give God some praise. We'll turn the further services over to the minister in charge. So thankful for our ministry staff We're about to hear some good words coming from this pulpit to talk about from darkness to light. Let's turn the further service over to the minister in charge, Reverend Kelly Duncan. Truly I rise to give out it to the Holy Father. I thought I had my badge on. I thought I was strong But I thank the God of Israel for keeping me. I thank the God of Israel. He got my mama here today. I got four of my children here today. Two of my grandchildren is here today. He been good to me. Woo! Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm bringing up the speakers. <laughs> the very first speaker who we will hear is our own junior reverend, Tamaris Darby. A wonderful young man, an inspirational young man. He's inspiring you. If you need somebody to look up to, look up to this young man. And he would like his little brother still, or Charlene? He wants his sister, Charlene, and the choir to come forth to sing for him. And then I'll return and introduce him.
the God of Israel is. I know a situation that the God of Israel can put you in and bring you out. So, Will, I want you to keep playing that music a little bit. Because when my mother was pregnant with my brother, and she got sick, and we had to leave her for a week, the God of Israel was her all. The God of Israel was her all. When my grandmother was in her bedroom sick, and the God of Israel brought her out, the God of Israel was her all. When I was laid up in the hospital in D.C., I had got so stressed they thought I had a seizure. The God of Israel was my all. We talking about coming out of darkness and going into the light. When you know what the God of Israel can bring you through, what it can take you through, wouldn't no darkness strong enough to touch us. Because we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. The songs say I'll go if I have to go by myself. I don't want to go if I don't got to go by myself. Because I want to be right here, rooted and grounded in the spiritual Israel church and his army. With my brothers and with my sisters. Because I know that the God of Israel is my all. I was watching a tape from 2011. And Uncle Bobby, he left up out the pulpit. He went to Bishop Singleton. And they said, I've got one thing. And you can't take it away. I've got one thing. And you can't take it away from me. And that's the God of Israel. No, you can abuse this old body. You can scandalize my name, but I got the God of Israel. I got the God of Israel up and through my body. It's, that song, it, it means a lot to me. Because no matter what I go through, I know that I got the God of Israel. When my friends turn their back on me, even when I don't think that I can see what the end is going to be, I know I got the God of Israel. And then knowing that I got the God of Israel, yes, yes. there's some things that I got to do to get myself together. Because we got the name Israel, but it's time to go to work with it. It's time to do something with it. We see all this crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now, all these shootings. We need to stay up in here so we can get spiritually protected. We need to love on each other so much that can't no darkness and can't no hate get up in here. People is leaving this earth each and every day, and we need to be trying to live for a God of Israel. I know what a, God, a, a change is about to come. Because we can't sit on our hands and feet and think that the world is going to come to Israel. We got to take Israel to the world. And when we take Israel to the world, we got to let them know that we serve a true and a living God. We serve a God that works in bodies. We got some, some peace, some joy, some health and happiness you can have on this earth. You ain't got to look to the, the sun, the moons, and the stars to get that happiness. Why? Because ain't no God in all the earth but in Israel. The spirit is moving so high up in here right now. I tell you, I'm going to give you two scriptures, and we're going to be out your way. My pastor, he say that the ministering sometimes can be in the songs. And right now, all I can think about is some songs. I'm looking out in this, this audience right now, and we look good, Israel. We look good. And the song is say, one more time. Just one more time, the God of Israel allowed us to come together and praise his name one more time. And since we got this one more time, let's do something with it. Since we got this one more time, let's be about our father's business and let's live up to that name Israel that we got. And with that being said, I'm going to read these my two scriptures. I want you to give me St. John, the seventh chapter, the 30th verse. And I want you to give me 1 Peter, the second chapter, and the ninth verse. And that's going to be all. And I'm just so happy to, to see my family. To see my family out here. It's amazing. I, I, I look at my uncles over here. And I know they're proud of me. But when I look at them and they get up here and they have some church, it make me proud that I can be a part of that family. It make me proud that I know I got some people I can look up to. It make me proud to know that I have a strong foundation in this church. I want to be thankful for my mother. Because I'm, I'm her problem child. And this Mother's Day, I, I'm her problem child and I know that. I want to be thankful for my grandmama, too, because she's the mama I go to when I'm mad at my mama. And, and I know my grandmama ain't going to never hold me up in none of my wrongs. She's going to tell it like it is and like it needs to be said. And I still go back and I love on my mama and we make up. 
I'm thankful for my godmother, Mother Camille Davis Wilson, but I'm thankful for my Auntie B. And she's right out here in this crowd. I'm thankful for my Auntie B because for the past couple of years, man, I call her up and we talk. We be on the phone for two and three hours. We jump from this subject to this subject, be all over the place. But I, one thing that she... that you dump. They'll, they'll tell you what you need to hear, but they won't beat you up about it. But then it's sometime when you need to be beat up. <laughs> and that's what I have my mother and my grandmother for. They beat me up about it in the beginning, and then we love on each other later. So St. John 7 today says what? He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now we know that we got a man in this generation. A man of God in this generation who has been sent to lead and guide the God of Israel's people. And if you don't know who he is, he on this wall right here. No not matter what happened, no matter what go on, one thing you better, you better do is you better love that man. You better love that man because he is who the God of Israel put on this earth to lead and to guide us. And he is an example that we need to be following. My great-grandmother, Claire May Gandy, brought us into the Spiritual Israel Church and the sermon. And my grandmother, she's sitting right there. She's been in here since Bishop Martin Tumpkin, when he was on the throne. I am a fourth-generation Israelite. And that is one of the best things that I am most grateful for my grandmother and my mother for, is that they brought me in this church and they kept me in this church. They kept me here because it don't matter... How, how many accolades did we reach? How many mountains we climbed? You ain't got none of that if you ain't got the God of Israel. If you ain't got the God of Israel on your side, just like you got it, it could be gone like that in the twinkle of an eye. Another reason I'm thankful for my mother and my grandmother is I'm getting ready to go off to college. I'm getting ready to go out to Howard University. And they have been great examples of what women should be. My mother taught me, and Bishop Beavers, he get up here and he say it too. Your mother is the, one of the first women that you interact with in your life. So she sets that example for all the young women that come to follow. You know, now my mama know me, and you know, and she know, you know what I like. And how I, you know, the young girls chase me and I chase them back. <laughs> one thing that my mama don't got to worry about she ain't got to worry about me falling for any and every little girl because if they can't live up to what my mother taught me what a woman should be, I ain't going nowhere near it. And this is Youth Sunday too, so young men, with y'all in here, I want y'all to hear this too. Don't just go for any and everything because everything, that, that glitter ain't gold. We're talking about some darkness and light. We're talking about darkness and light. You can get caught up in one of these young women. They take you out the light, put you in the dark, and you can be stuck there for 20 plus years before you get back in the light. We got in another thing and we was talking about keeping up with your hygiene. It's some it's stuff that's out there on TikTok. It's other young men. Apparently, it done became a feminine thing to take care of yourself. Let me tell you, ain't nothing feminine about cleaning dirt out your nails. Ain't nothing feminine about brushing your teeth and caring about how you look. Why? Because you ain't going to be able to get no young lady. You ain't going to be able to get nobody. They ain't going to come around you at all if your breath stinks. I was at Sumter and I said, look, you can be up at the job interview and the man ain't going to hire you. He ain't listening to nothing he's saying because he in a boxing match with your breath. <laughs> so we got to take care of ourselves, Israel. And in taking care of yourself, just know that everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be fine. Don't matter what nobody say about you. At the end of the day, you know that you got the God of Israel. My next scripture say what? But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, and that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. If I had to be called out of darkness, it meant that I was in the darkness at one point in time. So at the point that I got called out of the darkness and into the light, I know that the God of Israel will break in pieces 
the gates of brass yes. and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Yes. And he will show me this treasures of darkness and the hidden riches that are supposed to be in secret places. That I may know. That I may know that the Lord God of Israel, he do all of these things for me. I know that he loves on me. Because the things that were supposed to be a secret, if I get right with the God of Israel, he will reveal his secrets unto me. And once he revealed them secrets unto me, that should be enough to keep me in the house of Israel. That should be enough to keep me right here. Israel, it's just about time. We are all one life. Whether y'all know it or not, we are all one life. My life, my uncle's life. All of y'all lives work together to create one life. And if you do anything to that life to throw off the harmony and balance of that life, that's when that darkness comes in. And if you give a little slither of room for that darkness to come in, it's going to come in and it's going to take advantage. It's going to come in and it's going to take over and it's going to cause some hell and some havoc. And so one thing that we can't allow that, we can't allow that to happen because that's what tear people apart. We just got to love on one another. The God of Israel said, I have no pleasure in the death of them that die, so turn and live. Live your life. A lot of us, we out here, you know, we chasing some unrighteous things. I, I done did these things before. I done had my eyes and my mind on things that I knew was not right. I indulged in them, and the God of Israel whooped on me for it. And so with, with knowing that I'm going to get whooped on, and it, with this consequence is going to come about, that's enough to keep me away from that. Amen. Our youth instructors, children, they talk about stay away from drugs. You best believe you go and you mess with something and you don't know what's in it. That'll really put you in the dark. Right. It'll really put you in the dark and it's hard to get up out of it. It's easy to fall victim to everything that's going on in the world. It's so easy to get into trouble. Yeah. I don't know if y'all realize that it's so easy to get in trouble. You can get in trouble in three seconds and that three seconds could cost you 30 years. Yeah. It could cost you 30 years of your life. And so I, I know sometimes we may have some curious minds, but all curiosity ain't good curiosity. We got some people who have went down those roads and who have lived those lives so that we didn't have to live it. And, and it's okay to be curious, but what, 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 what gets that curiosity you know, out of your mind is you go to that person and you talk to them about what they went through. You talk to them about their testimony. Right. Because everybody got a testimony, whether you believe it or not. I got a testimony, and you got a testimony too. And ain't no testimony greater than the next. Because each and every testimony is different, and there is something that can be learned in that testimony to keep us in the light. And so it's, it's, some, it's some things that we got to do to continue to be Israel. When trouble comes knocking at our door, are we going to fall down and stay down? Or are we going to fall down and we're going to get up? And we're going to get back to work? We come into church and we listen to what the speakers say. We have already been equipped with the tools that we need to stay up out the darkness. So when you feel that darkness coming up on you, it's time to go to that tool shed. It's time to get your hammer out. It's time to get your nail out. And it's, start, it's time to go to work. You don't always got to call on somebody else to help you mitigate your problems because if you've been paying attention, you've been in Israel all these years, I've been in Israel all of my life, if I don't know something to do to help me get up out my problem, there is something wrong with that situation. If I don't know what I need to do to move this little headache that I got, then there is something wrong with that. This little headache that I got it may, be, it, may be, it may be happening because I'm giving my mama a whole bunch of hell. This headache that I got, it may be happening because I'm stressing over something that I ain't got no business stressing over. So sometimes we got to come up out of ourselves and we got to think and realize what is it that's going on in my life that's causing me to go through these problems. The God of it, we, we, always, we talk about how we can be nearly perfect and thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Well, before you can be nearly perfect and thoroughly furnished, you got to realize that it's time to make a change. If you're doing something, you got to realize I got to clean up myself. All right. I got to realize that when I come into this church, I got to give some things and not expect nothing in return. You know, and I love the God of Israel so much that I'm able to realize that I may not get all the blessings that I think I need to have. But just because I don't get all the blessings that I think I need to have don't mean that the God of Israel don't love me. Right. 
Maybe it means I need to put in a little bit more work. You can't put out, you can't do no two dollar work and expect no million dollar blessing to fall upon you. That ain't how that works. You got to put some work in. Well, wherever you get it, you got to be happy with whatever the God of Israel give you. Because he didn't have to do it, but he did. Yeah. And we thank him for that. Yeah. And so in thanking him for that, we realize that every blessing we get, it's all going to mean the same to us. Because the God of Israel don't got to do it. And that's something that I'm realizing in my life, too. As I, many of y'all know, y'all know I want to get into politics. And y'all know I want to be the president of the United States. And that's been my goal for a very long time. And the God of Israel is going to be the powerful tool that I need to climb this ladder. The God of Israel is going to be my most powerful tool that I need because I know that the road ahead is going to be hard, but I can survive it, but I can make it. And while I'm moving on up that ladder, the spiritual Israel church and his army is going to come with me because too many times, you know, when we get to where we want to go, we forget from where we came from. And, and we, we let the door be open for us, and we close it for somebody else to come behind us. And so it's, it's the saying, they say you got, to, you got to lift while you climb. And in lifting while you climbing, just like we needed that leg up at one time in our life, a brother and sister is going to come after us, and they're going to need that leg up too. And don't beat them up about it when they need it. Don't beat them up about it when they need it, because there was one point where you was not to where you needed to be. And I'm still on my spiritual journey trying to find out more and who I am. And I'm actually, I'm happy to embark on this next level of my life and going to college because I know then I'm going to really need the God of Israel more than I've ever needed him before. I'm going to need him more than I've ever needed him before because I don't have my mother there with me 24-7. I don't have my grandmother there with me 24-7. I don't have my, my, my natural people that I need, but I know that I got them in the spirit. I know that I got them when I need them. I know I can call them on the phone when I need something. But I'm getting ready to go to D.C. where we don't have a church. We don't have a church in D.C. The closest church is in New York. And don't worry, I'll be headed out to New York. <laughs> and I say this to say, children, is we don't ever have to go into no darkness if we stay in the light. We don't ever have to go into no darkness if, if we stay right. You know, it's okay to go out into this world and have experiences. It's okay to get something for ourselves, but get that and bring it back to the house of Israel. Amen. Get that and stay right. You know, we know that we're all not perfect, and sometimes we, we may fall down, we may fall victim or whatever, but let's get up because we've been taught better. And when we know better, we do better. And, and in my closing, it's just something that, that I want to leave is that I know that the, the end of the school year is getting ready to come out. And so, you know, if you ain't been having good grades, make sure you get you some good grades for the next school year. Make sure that you do everything that you need to do to prepare yourself because it's something that I'm realizing is that I'm going to miss high school and middle school when I leave because I can't get it back. I'm getting ready to be thrown into the world where I'm, I'm about to get ready and I'm about to be an adult. And it showed me sometimes I'd just be taking my test and sitting in the classroom like, man, I miss when we was just in middle school and the principal's office getting in trouble. And I'm not going to have that again. And so I'm now realizing the saying, stay a child while you can. As much as I like to eat, as much as my luxuries that I know I like, my mama, she going to get them if I ask her to sometimes. But the burden is going to fall on me. And then I will never realize how expensive that I was until I start having to do these things for myself. And so, and so, so let that be something that you know, I may not show it all the time, mama, but I'm grateful for you. I might not show it all the time, but I'm thankful for you. And I may not say it all the time, but I love you. No matter what happened, you know that you're my baby. No matter what happened, you know that you're my mama, and ain't nothing going to ever come between us. And for all the other young men that's out here, too, even the young women, Give your parents their flowers while they're living. Let them know that you love them while they're living. There are some people who wish they had a mother, who wish they had a father, but they don't. And you got one, so don't take it for granted. Because I know I'm not going to take mine for granted. And with that being said, I want to thank my pastor, Bishop Beavers, for giving me this time.
And I hope you gain the thought. Reverend Tamaris Darby, let's give him another hand. I told y'all he's an inspirational young man. I hope you got inspired today. He sold some seeds for y'all today. It's free time. He's sowing seeds. <laughs> And the next speaker we have is our own Elder Kenneth Page from Milan, <laughs> now in Compton. <laughs> and I, we know he's gonna sing for himself. Um, I know he's so happy his extended family is here with him. Amen. I'm so happy to see our extended family. <laughs> and the next voice you will hear is our own Elder Kenneth Page. <laughs> Who do I call on when all around me is sinking sand? Who do I talk to when there is no one around to listen? Who do I lean on when there is no one who is able? go to my God, cause I know he's able, I go to my God, I go to the rock of my salvation, I go to the Lord build my foundation, I go to the mountain, but the mountains cannot me my God stands and when I need a shelter when I need a friend and when I need a shelter when I need a friend and when I need a shelter when I need a friend and when I need a shelter when I need a friend I go to my God Truly, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Uh, I am really glad to be here. I done cried enough tears to last me for a year today. But I can promise you there ain't nothing wrong. But it's a whole lot of good going on. Uh, I'm just so thankful to see all of my family. Uh, I'm thankful for my wife. She is my heart. I'm really thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my babies, my children being with me. They don't get to come with me much, but they're here. Amen. Kenny was asleep and Lyric was doing what she do. <laughs> I know we don't have a lot of time. We've been here for a little while, but I just want to give you what God gave me. Amen? Amen. Please be a little patient. I promise you I won't be too long. But I didn't come all this. I told Bishop B was about two weeks. I said, I'm coming and I'm bringing Israel with me. I said, man, I'm letting you know we're going to pack the house. He said, I said, I want you to run out of food. And he looked over. He said, boy, there's more folks coming in here. I looked at him. I said, I tried to tell you. I'm coming and I'm bringing them with me. <laughs> no, but it's really good to see all of you. I, I can thank a million people here today. I, I won't get into all that right now, but to all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. I'm thankful for my mom, Mother Valerie, who opened her doors to me a long time ago. Deacon Richard Curry. Allowed me to go in his refrigerator. <laughs> and almost beat me up the next time I asked. He said, boy, go in there and get what you want. Did you see that in the back right there? That's my name. I need that for lunch tomorrow. Don't touch that. <laughs> but everything else in there is yours. And I am especially, with all my heart, thankful for my grandmother. 
Miss Celine Page. Amen. I was telling Kenny and him, I was showing where, I, where she spoiled me so much where I had my cereal, my own cereal, my Nestle Quick, my popcorn. Yeah, Danielle, she mad, she jealous because she knew I had it. <laughs> Alvin, you and I got the same problem. They, they hating on us. <laughs> uh, John 7, 38 says, He that believeth through me, as the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Um, a long time ago, I, I, I was preaching and I was preaching and I was preaching. And it was something in my spirit that just didn't set right. Okay, and so I want to talk to you all because I don't jump around in a whole lot of scriptures. That's just not me. I, it was what I was raised under. There's nothing wrong with it. And when others do it, that's fine. But that's not me anymore, okay? So I like to get one passage, and we're going to work in that passage. Is that all right? If you stay with me, I promise you I'm going to give you Israel, though. Is that all right? That's not me. I have to be authentic to me. Okay, and the way I even learned in school, I like the art of storytelling. And Bishop said, that's how you're supposed to do it. Set it up like a house. Put the walls up. He said, son, but don't forget the roof. <laughs> Is that all right? So I'm going to come today just from the book of Mark 10, 46 to 52. I'm going to try to get it and get out of here. Is that all right? I'm all, I, and I, I can. I can run some seals if that's what you want me to do, if that's what you like. But that ain't being authentic to me. I, I, I got to do me. Is that all right? So I preach the way I, because I need to sleep good at night doing what God told me to do. From darkness to light. From darkness to light. You were conceived in darkness, but it wasn't meant for you to stay there. Amen? I heard my uncle just say, they, 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 they thought they buried me, but really God had planted me. They were throwing dirt on me thinking I was dead, but really they didn't know they was covering me. Oh, Amen. <laughs> Because God was planting me because there was something under there he had to do before I could sprout out to the outside. It had to, be, it had to put some water in there. They had to nurture the soil, amen. And I'm looking around at the seeds, amen, right here. And the fruit of all my mama and my daddy's labor. And my grandparents and Bishop Allen Cox, amen. Is that all of them, man? I'm just coachy, amen. I heard Molly talking about coachy. Bishop talked so much about coachy, I thought I knew him personally. Boy, he talked about Bishop Coachman a lot. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Darkness, I like to go through and, and get the metaphysical meaning of things. So the meta metaphysical meaning of darkness says the ignorance of sense in man. It's the absence of truth in consciousness. Darkness represents undeveloped capacity. It is caused by a lack of love. And then I don't want to just give you the negative. Then the light says is the understanding principle in mind. In divine order, it always comes first into consciousness. And I like this part. Light is a symbol of wisdom. Amen? So when we move from darkness, we are trying to get to the light, but there's a... Mark 10, there was a man named Blind Bartimaeus, and I want to talk to you a little bit about Blind Bartimaeus. What does it say in Mark 10? Who's got it for me? 46 to 52. And they came to Jericho. Read aloud. Yes, ma'am. And they came to Jericho. And he went out to Jericho. And he went out to Jericho. His disciples. His disciples. And a great number of people. And a great number of people. Jesus was a rock star then. Amen. So the man of God was a rock star. I'm going to bring it up today. Is that all right? We're in the Bible, but I promise you I'm going to bring it up today. So Jesus, he was a rock star. He was walking around, and everybody had the paparazzi was there. He had a whole big following, and he had his boys with him. And they was going around healing and doing things. And so he went to Jericho. What happened? And blind Bartimaeus and the son of Titus. There was, there was blind Bartimaeus, uh-huh. And the son Titus. Titus, uh-huh. the highway side begging. Now watch this. They sat on the highway on the side begging. Amen. Keep going. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth. When he heard it was Jesus. Now let's stop right there from darkness to light. Look at that. He was blind. And he was sitting on the side, and he was begging. And I was looking at this story, and I said, Lord, have mercy. If you're not careful, if you sit in darkness long enough, you'll get used to it. Amen? And so we have to be careful because sometimes what happens is in our lives, we become dysfunctional. And we will develop a system that allows us to cope in dysfunction. 
Amen. We, you, you'll start creating things to let people know, I, I feel, feel sorry for, I'm, I'm not going to feel sorry for your dysfunction that you caused. Amen. We, we mess up all week long, then come to church and expect Bishop Beavers to make us right through that one sermon. All week long, I'm doing what I want to do. Now, Sunday, I come, God, I want you to change me. It don't work like that. You got to do some work in this. So he sit on the side of the road in blindness. And, go ahead. He began to yell out. Jesus, the son of David. Have mercy on me. See, he was in a situation. He had got himself in a situation, so he was crying out, have mercy on me. And what happened? And many charged him. They told him to shut up, be quiet. But he cried even louder. I, 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 I told this story at Compton, I'm going to share it with you. One time after mom and daddy had passed, I was sitting in the house by myself on Martinsville Road, and the enemy got in, got in there and tried to put me in a place of darkness. And as he started to get in there and the enemy tried to make me get depressed and tried to bring me down, I said, uh-uh, you gotta get out of here. So I started to shake him loose a little bit. And as I began to walk through the house, the enemy was trying to put different thoughts in there, but I was yelling out, but the God of Israel is still real. Sometimes you got to talk to your situation. Oh, I'm going to get you to the light. <laughs> but see, some of you right now are in darkness, so I got to talk to you there before I can get you to the light. Because you ain't going to understand light because you're sitting in darkness. Bishop and I was talking about the other day. Some people right now are bound in their own natural things that they have messed up. Can't get spirit because natural stuff got me bound. Some of you sitting here right now worrying about your bills. You can't even have a good time and get the word because you worried about that bill. You worried about natural things. And I'm trying to give you heavenly things. We all got bills. Guess what? They're going to be there when you get home. Give me your mind right now so I can give you something that will have you operate in a spiritual manner that will show you what to do naturally so to go pay him. <laughs> Is that all right? And really, the, it, ain't no, it ain't a whole lot of wisdom. Some of it is you just need to go to work. You spend more time trying to stay from a job and more energy trying to get a quick fix I'm always worried about, I'm, worried, I'm always leery about them quick fix folks. They don't never want to put no time in. Man, I can make a dollar in a minute, man. Wait a minute now, a dollar in a minute? What you gonna have me doing? I worked in the jail cell. I don't want to be a resident there. And I done ran up in drug houses and everything. I'm afraid to be a behind bars. I'm telling you, that's what keep me out. I'm afraid. And I said, well, I was in there one time, and I locked the thing. I was work, working turnkey, and I slammed it and locked the door. And I looked around. I said, shoot, I'm in here too. <laughs> if something go down, I'm in here too. The only good thing was I had the key to get out. Keep going. What does it say? Thou son of David. Thou son of David. Have mercy. He's yelling out, Jesus. And some of you right now, oh, see, you can be a witness to this. Some of you have been in some situations where you had to call out on the name of Israel. <laughs> some of you have been in some situations where you couldn't think of nothing else to self, say, but Israel. And the enemy tried to shut you up, but you had to get louder. Israel. Don't let people shut you up. Don't allow them to turn out your light. Because people will do it just to make them feel good. And they mad because your light is brighter than theirs. And they trying to find out after all you done in your life, how this heifer keep getting blessed. I go to church too. But maybe she don't pay her tithes. 
I go to church too. But maybe when she get out, she act a complete hellion. I go to church too. Maybe when you in church, you acting a complete hellion. Don't argue with people about your results in God. And I heard Bishop Bobby say this, and I like it. I love this. You ain't got to prove to nobody nothing. You ain't got to prove to nobody you Israel. Make them prove that you not. They, they going to have a hard time. They're going to have a hard time because on Sunday I'm in church. So in order to prove it, you're going to have to be there with me. And what's going to happen is a little going to fall on you. Amen? Keep going. What does it say? And Jesus stood still. Looked at him. Uh-huh. Said, come here, blind man. You're yelling my name. I'm hollering, doing all and carrying on. You're yelling at me. What you want? Uh-huh. And he said unto him, be of good comfort. Rise. He called thee. And he, casting away his garment, took off his clothes, uh -huh. came to Jesus. Now watch this. Jesus didn't do it. He put it back on him. What does he say? What do you want from me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The blind man said unto him, Uh-huh. Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made you whole. Amen? And immediately he received his sight. See, I, I need to stay right there because right there is the message. That's the message right there. Bishop Beavers, your faith. Bishop JR, your faith. You mean to tell me, Jesus, I had the power this whole time to fix what I've been asking you to fix for me? This is how you get from darkness to light. You got to work on your faith. Amen? And every time he went and did things, we don't realize it was their faith. Even when the, man, the young man was dead, it was his mama's faith. You got to catch that. It was always their faith. Even if they weren't people of the same religious background and belief, it was always their faith. The part I'm trying to get to you is you have more power over your destiny than the whole world is trying to tell you. The problem, the problem you'll hear me say that I have with Western philosophy is, and where they messed us up as a people, they put God on the outside of us. When we was in the motherland, God was on the inside. So sometime between the motherland and getting over here to this messed up place, God got on the outside. Everybody in church today on these corners talking about God on the outside. I'm so glad that the man of God told me he's in the inside. Because the problem is when he's on the outside, there is a possibility that something can get in between me and him. <laughs> but when he's on the outside, the only thing you got to get over is you. I'm sorry, when he's on the inside, when he's like, y'all know what I meant. When he's on the inside, the only thing you got to get over is you. Is that all right? Amen? I didn't have a, load, a lot of time today. I, didn't want, I told you I wasn't going to be up here long, so I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, the VC family, who I married into now, Mother Velvet got sick. And when she was sick, they called them. They said, hey, mama not doing too good. Yada, 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 be mama and grandma not doing too good. They came immediately. Now we have a house. We had to move some things around to accommodate them coming to stay with us for a little while. And when they got there, they was cooking in the kitchen, cleaning up, giving her baths, giving us breaks, laughing with us, doing all these things, right? About a year ago, God came to me and he said, 
I would always ask, Lord, you know, provide this, God, provide that, provide this, provide that. And he came to me and he said, my presence is actually more important than my provision. The presence of God, Amen. When, you get, when, you, when you get enlightened and you get to another phase in your life, the presence of God will become more important than the provision of God. So as we had to move things around in the house, we were making room for their presence. And when they got there, they started providing. Amen. They missed that. They missed that. They, they missed that. They missed it. They missed it. You want to get from darkness to light, you got to make room for his presence. You want to get out them bills and stress, you got to make room for his presence. You got to unpack disbelief. You got to unpack fear. You got to unpack ego. You got to make room for the presence of God. Because when his presence shows up, the provision is already laid out. And some of us right now, you want to know what's got you hung up? You haven't made room for his presence. You got everything else in there but him. This is why you don't hear me even preach a whole bunch about the devil or this so-called Satan. Because you preaching all that mess, ain't no room for God. You ever met somebody, hey, how you doing, mother? The devil busy. Well, wait a minute. Well, what's going on, girl, child? The devil been busy all week long. And I, I want to stop and just smack you and say, but what did God do? What, you, you got the devil on overtime. And you got God working part-time. He, he ain't even part-time. He a temp service. On call every once in a while. You don't even get benefits when you work for the temp service. I guess that should be a slogan. What has God done for you? <laughs> what has Israel done for you? Quit telling me what all these other things are doing. What has God done for you? You want to get from darkness to light? Focus more on the presence of God. I promise you. Oh, amen. Can I just testify for a second? When I, oh, Lord, I done made it to the, Mama Booker, I done made it to the sweet spot. <laughs> Mama Booker, I done made it to the sweet spot. Yeah. I got here and I'm seeing, see, 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 spiritually so. They just, I just went through the lessons, the tests and all that. But we had the lessons a long time ago. We, I was, we had the lessons at 14 and 15, 16 years old. Now I got the paper now that say I got the lessons. But we had them lessons a long time ago. Now that I got it now, now I can say it, I guess. Because we weren't really supposed to tell it, but we had it anyway. I got there, I hold on to my babies. Kenny, Quentin, Shaw, Tamaris, I hold on to them from afar spiritually so. I can't always get to them naturally so. But Lord have mercy, I walked in and my babies was doing fine. Tamar, you a bad girl. You a bad girl. And I want to make sure that I give you your flowers in front of everybody. I love you. And I got you. You know that. Me and Auntie B, we got you. I don't care what anybody else say. Brothers or not, I got you. You don't worry about that. He blessed me. I promise you, I'm going to bless you too. Amen. I don't care what blood do. I got you. You don't worry about that. And I done said it in front of everybody, and I wouldn't tell that. I was out on the farm. Baby girl Danielle rolled up in a new car. <laughs> rolled up in a new car. I said, that's you, D? <laughs> She said, yeah, bro, this me, little something, something, you know. 
My family doing fine. My family doing fine. My brother Ricardo came and picked me up late night. My family doing fine. I saw my sister Kelly and her children, and I said, look at Beavers. Be, 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 we got all your children in the house today. Look at that. We are blessed. We are blessed. And then I look over at my now extended family. Look at Priscilla, my auntie Priscilla there, my mama, my dad, Dante, Peggy, I, I can't name Linda, all of y'all, auntie Peggy, all of y'all, thank y'all. I am blessed. And every once in a while, my baby show up on TV somewhere. I ain't bragging. I ain't flossing. I'm just telling you what God has done for me. Is that all right? I'm just telling you what God has done for me. He's been good to me. But it didn't get there overnight. I had to change my mind. The page was doing things that wasn't right. And I had to change my mind. And once I changed my mind and welcomed the presence of God in, look at what he's doing for all that's around me. And I'm not afraid to tell any of you, young men or young ladies, you got to be careful of the things that you do. If you put it out, it's coming back. If you put it out, it's coming back. We can sing, shout, eat chicken all day long. If you don't have the love of the God of Israel in you, it don't mean nothing. You can pay $10,000 tithes every month. Without no love, it don't mean nothing. And here is somebody else that give five with all of their heart and do it with love, and they're going to be blessed forever. Do you understand me? I'm not perfect. I still make mistakes. I do. We all make mistakes. But I promise you this, I ain't going to let you hold me hostage to my past. Quit looking at me as the old me. Quit calling me as the old me. What we say, young people, new number, who this? <laughs> new number, who this? You understand what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with you walking around. The young people got these saying, I'm talking, they know what I'm talking about. I'm him. They say that, I'm him. I'm her, but only if you got the God of Israel. Do you understand that? What I'm trying to tell you is be confident and bold in this. Don't take down for anybody. I don't shame other religions and stuff like that because I don't get into that. Everybody needs some light. But I believe this in my heart. If I'm great enough in Israel, it'll change something in you. If I'm great enough in Israel and you've been serving Jesus all your life, you're going to want to know what I'm doing in Israel. If I'm great enough in Israel, and you've been serving Allah all your life, I can be a light to you. You're going to want to know what I'm doing in Israel. Amen? Is that all right? I love you, family. I just stopped by for a little while. I thank you for taking care of us, for looking after us. We're not going to prolong the time. I'm going to turn the further service over to the hands.
good today. I feel good. Thank you, Lord. God of Israel. Woo. He is with us today. God of Israel has visited and redeemed his people. Amen. To say I'm not going to prolong the time. At this time, I'm going to turn the further services over into the hands of the pastor of the Compton Temple, our own Bishop Alvin Mears. Amen. Lord is a is I go Yeah each and every day We gotta keep on moving Moving in the right way Cause if I stumble Bishop Harvey Dean. And 
been the assistant pastor in the household of Israel. This is my first time being here that I can remember. I'm impressed, and as my mama say, and highly blessed <laughs> to be in your presence. I am thankful. I have been reserving. He said, you okay? I'm okay. Had to go to the bathroom, but I'm okay. So I said, I'm taking it in. I'm absorbed. Because once I get going, I didn't want to use it in singing. I didn't want to use it all up in shouting. I was enjoying that. You fed my spirit and my soul. You all. On what day was this? Two most important things in my life. You. You know how beautiful them youth got up and talked about how they love their mama. I'm patient. If you had about 50 more, they could have just had my time. I enjoy them. I see Israel is going to grow. It's going to go. It's going to be a light to the world, and we're going to learn that the God of Israel created us in his image and in his likeness. And if that is that is what that is, we are little gods. All right. And the only thing that the God of Israel limited to us is our narrow mind of thinking about what he can and can't do. I am thankful for the king and queen. Amen. Bishop Bobby Davis is my pastor. Right. I can look out in the audience and may see my biological father, but the father that the God of Israel gave me is greater than any man on this earth. He looks after you. He prays for us. Yes, he, he comes see us. Yes, he, he even that got modern. He texts you too. Yes. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? <laughs> Ladies, you are looking so beautiful. Amen. Every Mother's Day that I can remember, I personally give every lady a flower that comes into the temple. Even the little young ladies, they will be soon mothers too. And if they see their fathers give their mothers roses and flowers and, and their wives, you know, then they should have a man that do that for them when it's their turn. You don't settle for no man doing less for you than you seen your father doing for your mother. Amen. Which is very important. Men, be honorable in the front of our children. You gonna have teeth and tongue falling out. But I ain't never seen me go get no pliers and pull him out. I just moan and groan and be all sad. I ain't going to pull that tooth out. <laughs> so go to your secret closet. Get in the car and drive off. Holler and scream much as you got to as parents. Don't let them children see you do it in the front of them. Because then you're making them take a side. They know somebody wrong. Now they heard you talking. You stupid. You a floozy. Well, somebody wrong. And they gonna come ask you, what is that? So let's 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 just tone them words down. And I've been guilty, but this is Mother's Day. On the day that I ended up with one being put away, descended on, 
yesterday at uh, that part of it. It happened two weeks ago. But I inherited, see what's so beautiful about my mom? She had a twin left me with another mom. And she always called me her number one son. That's back to getting spoiled, me and Kim talking about. And then I look in the audience and see Mother Delita Booker, Aletha, and my mama Lucille. I didn't lose no mama. I gained three. I want to thank you for the love you showed me and my family, and my spiritual family, feeding us, cars, personal phone calls. I had 70 texts. God is good. Just try to walk where people can have something good to say about you. They said, why don't you want to lie? The little children taught us. So if I ain't learned it at 60 years old, I got a problem. I'm on the short bus. <laughs> Forgive me, and if you see me walking without my helmet, put it on. Because there's only two things in my book that is very hard to deal with as a child and as an adult is a thief and a liar. Yeah. And in that Ray Charles movie, they work hand in hand. So that thief ain't gonna told you he stole it. <laughs> Love each other honor each other, respect each other. There's been times people come to me and say, you're kind, just like your mother. Those are some big shoes to fill, because I ain't kind all the time. <laughs> you just catching me on that good day. <laughs> but I'm going to try to be better. I'm going to try to be sweeter. I'm going to try not to judge more. Y'all think my mom was cool? Boy, she see some women dressed all certain. Oh, look at her. <laughs> and she going over there to tell them, cover that up. <laughs> Get back here, mama. They fight old people these days. So, she was opinionated, but she meant well. So if we're gonna have criticism, let it be positive, creative, productive criticism, not for me to think I'm better than you, just that I want you to be the best Israelite you can be your entire life. I hope y'all got a thought. And I'm bringing up the overseer of the spirituals of church in this army, Bishop Harvey Beavers. <laughs> well, you got an assistant pastor. Help me out. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. They say, haven't we had a marvelous, marvelous time? these children. I want to thank first the Supreme YLP president, along with our local president and the local assistant, a marvelous, marvelous program. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Junior Reverend Tamaris, Elder Page, and Bishop Mears. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> I 
always want to recognize the different pastors and assistant pastors that's here. Elder James Singleton, Elder Joseph Jordan, and Reverend Pettis from the Sumter Church. Elder, <laughs> Elder James Lathan and Elder Joe Lathan, one from San Diego in Compton now, and the other one, the assistant pastor of Temple Number Two. I want to thank our own Reverend Kelly Duncan for being our mistress of ceremonies today. And I just saw Evangelist Reverend Lenore Murphy walk in. We've had a marvelous, marvelous time. I could go on. I do want to say I'm always thankful. You know, I have to be thankful, you know, since it's Mother's Day, I have to be thankful for Elder Bride, Mother Ruthie Latham. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. She, she was my first spiritual mother. Amen. And then after she transitioned on, I had Bishop Catherine Solomon. Amen. Very, very thankful for her. Right. And now today I have Elder Bride Mother, Alita Booker, yeah. who is also our Supreme State Mother. Very thankful for the State Mother from New York, Mother Lucille Duncan. Yeah. And my mother, is Mother's Day, my mother has transitioned on, but I have a wonderful mother, Bride Mother Martha B. Yeah. Uh, I'm blessed. I'm not going to get into any scripture or nothing like that. I just want to say, Israel, back in uh, St. John 7, 38 says, He that believeth on me, scripture has said, Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. It is written in St. John 9, 5 that Jesus said, As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. He's in the world now. Right. Clean in the world now. now. I know we got some visitors and all that, but we've been here a long time. And one thing about it, Bishop AJ, you know, I've sat under him a little bit too. He talked to me a lot. He used to tell me it's the time to start. And it's the time to end. You keep pouring water in the jug, and after a while it's going to fill up. But when you keep pouring it in there, you just wait. I'm going to ask all some of you visitors to come back. I got a lot of things to tell you about that, about that Caucasian man that told you he was going to come back. Solve all those problems, but you still catch an Teach it. Now I am gonna say this, because I'm gonna get ready to go up here and see Mother Furlough at the at the nursing home. I ain't gonna miss that. Okay? And y'all stay right here and eat and we got some food for you. All I ask you to do is put a little something in the office. And if you ain't got nothing, don't worry about it. But this is the church of abundance here. <laughs> And if we run out, we'll go buy some more. Exactly. Right. I bet you they ain't run out at the store. <laughs> say amen. amen. Now let me say this to you. When our Gentile brother met us, for those of you that are going to come and drop this one thing and then you can, you can think about it. Because I'm going to go home with you anyway. Right. You can't stop me from going home with you. Right. You said it too, but that truth is going to come back to your mind. Right. Now, when our Gentile brothers met us, what did we have? We had the whole continent of Africa. The richest continent on planet Earth. Even though they done plundered it, it's still the richest continent in the world. We had all the diamonds, all the gold, all the zinc, all the copper, all the uranium, oil, rubber trees, salt mines, gold mines, diamond mines. We had it all. He had Teach it. Come on. The Bible. When he got done with us, we had the Bible. And he had all that. And he had us talking about. You can have this whole world. Just give me Jesus. 
teaching. He said, what? He went about getting the whole world, and then Jesus, he told you about it, ain't made it back in the Now, it is time to wake up. Now, it is written that he said, as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. He ain't in the world now. But you know what? We still got a light. Yes, we do. Teach it. As long as this man he is in the world, he is a light of the world. That's the challenge of that. And you should be glad about it. Because in every generation, God sent a man. And that man is to open up the mind of the people that God gave him the message from. He is not your God. Bishop Davis is waiting on the same guy to wake him up tomorrow. That's right. It's you and I wake him up. Amen. But God has given him a message yeah. to lead and guide his people. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. And if you eat and drink that man's word, where the word of the king is, teach it. There is power. Now, I ain't talking about what I think. That's right. I'm talking about what I know because I try. See, I don't follow the king everywhere. Right. You know that's right. And that's what's wrong with a lot of people. They follow the wrong stuff. You have a right to check it out. That's right. And that's why I tell most people. Let people have their own testimony about the king. Quit trying to force feed it down somebody's right. 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 If I'm your pastor and I ain't done nothing for you, just say, well, I like to listen to pastor. He's been a pretty good guy. <laughs> but if you come to me and ask me something and I tell you something, what I said, boom, come back. Right. 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 Now, I, I, look at here. I don't mind letting the brother beat the road. Time right. out. But just repeating, parroting stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 You know a parrot? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds just like Sure you. do. He can talk. He just went off the sign. You don't know about what you're talking about. Yeah. He just repeating signs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Amen. Amen. So if you want to come out of the dark and say, man, now let me say this for you. Can't nobody do it for you. That's it. That's right. That's what Guess what Elder Page was talking about this today? I love it. Can't nobody do it for you. You're going to do this for yourself. We're going to give you some tools, but you're going to put the work in for yourself. That's it. That's right. See, we like this spiritual stuff because it don't require no effort. But like I tell you here, you want to really get, you want to really get some stress off you? Go 70, 20, 10. And I'm getting ready to leave. Getting ready to go do what I got to do. 70, 20, 10. Oh, okay. Well, somebody going to have to. We got some most or something. Amen. 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 And I'm going to teach you how to have some money. Because I don't want you riding here, bro. Everybody's scared to answer their phone because it's me. Amen, Ross. Amen. You give 10% of your money to the church. That's the tax. You put 20% of your money in the bank. That's for a rainy day. And you live off of 70% of your money. Now, it may take a minute for you to get there. You know, you might can't get there right away. You might have to live off of, you know, 85%, pay 10%, don't be saved high. But you work yourself up to try to save 20 cents before you pay anybody. You're supposed to pay yourself. And this old buying what you want, and then begging for what you need, that's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you got all this time and all this people in front of me. Hair all different colors been coming in time like you need two hundred dollars for your win before that girl back. <laughs> I'm gonna speak to where I ain't gonna need to be telling you about that. Let's speak to you where you live. Come on, speak to you. Teach it. 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 Teach it.
spiritual things and you worried about your life about to be cut off. You got to bless all out and love yourself when you go turn your lights to jump. <laughs> I want you to be free. It's time for us to be free. And there are some spiritual things we're going through. True it is. But you can see better how to get out of it once you understand the natural things. Natural things. Okay? Natural things. And if we can just come together on some natural Sing at 11 o'clock. We are so it's the same song. Everybody. Yeah. We take our money up, we say this, and we do all these things at the same time. But we don't do nothing at the same time with our money. Yeah. It's all over everywhere. It's got it anyway. Say amen. Yeah. In order to come together, I ain't worried about a church. It didn't say. It. They have said, come, but let's cut them off from being a church. That ain't what it said. It said, cut them off from being a nation. They don't care how many churches you got. Right, right. It's better for them than for you to have a lot of them, because then they can deny and conquer more easily. Right, right. That's their method. Right, right. It's time for you and I to come together for some national stuff. Right. Taking care of our seniors. Yeah. Teaching our youth. Yeah. They ain't telling our youth everything about our history. Right. Amen. They are all upset now because it came to the attacking of the black man. Well, my God, he's the pretend to come to Africa. See? <laughs> Just think. They want you to accept the story they done told. Amen. But we as a people, we got to come together. And if we come together and we have our team, we can have team. But you got to at least choose something. Yes, right. You got to choose what it is you want. Right. And I think one thing we should start at is taking care of our senior. Right. Right. The ones who got us where we are today. My mother Booker done told us she ain't going over to that place. So we got work to do. We're going to train our children. We want to be proud. And we want our children to be proud. It ain't no sense in acting like, like Bishop Cox said. You talking all that talk, then you leave your child with an old Bible, an old bow out Bible, and an old shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and an old crooked, dusty hat. That's all. Oh, he's good. Oh, hollering, screaming. And it's a good man that he goes to the third and fourth type of generation. How many good men we got? Don't even include me yet. Amen. <laughs> I'm doing good by myself. What you going to leave for somebody else? Is you going to leave some bills? Or is you going to leave a legacy? People, you shouldn't be talking about money like that. Don't be ashamed of money. I'm like this. Don't. Right. Don't be ashamed of what you need. Right. Quit fight. Quit fighting what you need. Help people get their mind right and get out of this fantasy. And let's move on to loving one another. I truly enjoy the Compton Church and other people from different various parts of the vineyard being here. And let's step it up, Israel. We can do it. We can do it. All the only people we wait on is ourselves. That's right. Hey, that little white man from the sky ain't coming to fix it, man. I know they. I know they've told that story. It was just like that Santa Claus story. That one boy tried to figure out that man, that man, that man. 
Teach it. We the only church that teach God sent a man. We ain't waiting on no man. We already got the man. Now the question is, what's next? That's what they were made. He deserved yeah. His love, his care. Some of y'all know ain't a hospital too far away. Yeah. That he ain't come and see about you. He was on vacation and called about me when I went to surgery. And remember, I got out and called me. So I'm talking about what I know. And I know that some of the other fish and chips in there is true. And I'm going to say that. People don't care how much you know until they know. How much you care? I hope you get it. Turn over to you, Elder Collins. Go ahead and finish up. Amen. I rise again to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of our Israel, to say, let's give our overseer, Bishop Beavers, a hand. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful words of wisdom. Amen. To say we're moving right along. To say um, we're going to um, get ready for our demonstrator. Amen. Before our demonstrator comes to our heart, we're going to have altar prayer. And we're going to have our own Bishop Alvin Mears to come and do the altar prayer for us. So let's give him a hand and be obedient to whatever he tells us to do. Amen. Rise, goodbye, Holy Father, King of all Israel. Let's place our minds on our desires. There's one thought I have that I want us to remember. The world set this day aside and called it Mother's Day. But if I can remember, and as long as I remember, Child's Day was every day for my mama looking after me. Well, no one day out the year. She didn't care one day more than the other. And that's how we're supposed to be as Israelites. Don't just wait for a favorite day to say, I'm going to show some love and gratitude or forgiveness. Don't wait for that calendar new year to make a resolution that I lied all the time about. <laughs> Sing the verse of the song, please, and I'm going to start praying. Just 
Come to you, the humble mind, thanking you, Father, for my daily prayer. Thank you for looking past all of my faults and see my needs. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the love of the God of Israel walking and talking in bodies. Thank you for our offsprings. Letting us know and giving us our roses and flowers today, saying how much they love they mama. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for Bishop Beavers opening his church to us today. Yes. And the God of Israel ushered in the spirit yes. that's going to feed us for a lifetime. We're going to be patient when we go downstairs with the cooks. Yes. We're going to make sure the seniors get their food and the mothers first. And the children. Because we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to travel. For the other churches to go out early and come down and sup with us today. We thank you for them traveling to Kentucky. Asking the God of Israel to hold them and allow them to return safely back home. We're going to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the food we eat. For the nourishment of our body. For Israel's sake. We're going to thank you, Father, for the little tools and fuels we got in our pocket. Until we learn to appreciate the many that you got there waiting on us. I've squandered a lot of money. I've squandered good times with kings. But he was merciful unto me. And here we stand today with the man of God and a beautiful mother on his side, Bishop Gloria. Hold on to each other. Love our mothers, our sisters, our aunts, our grandparents. Love our neighbors to the right and the left of us and let the ones in our neighborhood love them. Love the co-workers, even though they may be our enemy. They said, what reward was it to praise those that only do good for you? The hard work is forgiven. Some of us is in here that ain't called their mother in years, still mad. Expect her to call you because she the parent. Turn that around. You be the parent and call her. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for our health. Thank you, Father, for our spirituality. Thank you, Father, for the clothing you allowed us to dress up pretty in today. Thank you, Father, for all the great things you've given us. And we won't complain. We won't complain. And we won't complain. We only going to just say, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, I thank you. And I just...
the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace to your career run. I turn the present service back to the sister Baptist. Amen. Amen. We are so thankful for that beautiful prayer. Let's stay in the spirit of it so that can be well with each and every one of us. Got one more request. Those of us that like extra pieces of chicken, put extra offering in. <laughs> Amen. Okay, we got a word from Bishop Beavers. Amen. I rise about the whole about King Bar Little. Now I know it's been uh, kind of late, but we had a little issue in the kitchen. Yeah. They had to go and remake some noodles. So I want you to be 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 careful. We still got probably another 20 minutes or so before we take up the offering, demonstrate, and all that. But I want you to be uh, patient with them. But we got a nice spread laid out for you, okay? But we don't want to serve the noodles if it ain't right, okay? Yeah. All right. So it'll take a little bit to get that right, and Amen. then. Uh, and also, for every mother that did not get a rose, I want to thank my preach brother, pastor of something. He brought some with him. Amen. So if you didn't get a rose when we first passed them out, please see Elder Jordan, and he will make sure that you get one. Now, look, be just. If you already had one, don't go back up in there. Right. Amen. Let Amen. everybody get a chance to have one. I'm going to take this one to Mother Furlow. All right. Amen. All right. Peace and love. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. We're so thankful for the beautiful prayer and the words of wisdom from the pastor over here at the Ypsilanti Temple that said, this time we're going to compose ourselves for demonstration. Okay, let's, let's settle down. Amen. Our demonstrator for today is our own Dr. Tamara Page. Amen. I rise give my to the Holy Father, the King of Israel, to be the spiritual demonstrator. I first want to be thankful for my teacher, Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr., and my instructor, Bishop Reverend Brown Mother Delphine Mills. I ask everyone to sit straight up with your feet flat on the floor, palms on your hands up, as if you are ready to receive something. And I'm going to visit you from the spiritual side of life. And whatever the God of Israel gives to me, I'll pass it on. Let's sing a verse or two of the demonstration song. Let him breathe on me. Let him breathe on me. Let him breathe on me. Let the breath of the Lord now breathe on me. Let him breathe on me. Let him breathe on me. Oh, let the breath of the Lord now breathe on me. Thank you for your voices. And the God of Israel hasn't shown me any immediate hurt, harm, or danger to befall anyone under the sound of my voice that's in my presence. However, we do know that danger out there, so let's just be aware of our surroundings. But what the God of Israel did tell me that this whole service we've been demonstrated to. to. And if you did not get your portion, there's something wrong, and it needs to be fixed. 
Psalms 121, 1 through 2 will help you. And remember, it's your faith that makes you whole, and I thank you. Amen. We're thankful to our demonstrator, Dr. Tamara, and they ask that we all be obedient to what she says, that it may be well with us to say at this time, we're going to have our announcements by our own mother, Camila.
Envelopes, service back into the hands of the pulpit. Tomorrow for reading our envelopes. Amen. If all hearts are satisfied. Amen. We're going to um, be dismissed by our own elder, Kenneth Page. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. To ask and all stand, place your right hand over your heart. Keep your mind on the King of all Israel as we go through the closing ceremony. Please keep your mind on the King of all Israel and repeat after me as I go through the closing ceremony by saying, Now may the peace, now may the peace and, the love and the love of the great God of Israel, God of Israel and, the of son, and the love of his Son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ and the communion, and the communion of, the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, all be in, all be in and go with us all, all from this meeting. From this meeting. May, the may the God of Israel keep love's banner, keep love's banner floating, over us, floating over us and smite death threatening waves before us and grant too that we may so love him that we will love and cleave one to another and this we do know that if we will with all our hearts souls mind and strength love thee O God of Israel we shall receive and possess the kingdom of David in this world and thou will send unto us all the kingdoms of God and heaven. And if we truly love thee, thou will bless us to be the true Israels of God. And then we shall enter into thy everlasting kingdom, which has no end. This and all other blessings that thou seest we need. We ask in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Amen.